Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Grand Poppy Whitebeard and of course his weird uh, pineapple head shaped son, Marco. Uh, these are both fantastic units. Marco got a really, really nice buff um, in the last uh, patch, I guess. Like the one before that we just had. Uh, a couple of new characters got some good buffs too. So if you guys want to see any of these new characters with their buffs, let me know in the comments below. I'll just tally up like the you know the one that gets the most uh, votes. So, anyways, uh, we got Whitebeard at boost two, uh, level one hundred. We got Marco at boost nineteen, level one hundred. And uh, I've always been tempted to boost to uh, Marco. I'm touching uh, Inu's tail right there just because it looks so fluffy. Uh, looks delicious. It's like cotton candy. Um, but we're going to be uh, grabbing this first flag. Something I really like to do with Whitebeard is sit back at the beginning uh, because uh, so he, he kind of benefits from your team sucking ass. He's kind of like Moria in that sense where um, uh, basically when your teammates die, he stacks defense up to 50%. And uh, it, obviously that in turn makes you much more tanky. And also when you're in the flag with your teammate, you get a little bit more tanky as well, which is really nice. And of course he stacks attack. Uh, every time he kills up to 75% and his skill one if it connects which uh, you know usually does that fucking sword is really big and it's almost impossible to miss but when uh, that skill one connects you get another 30% or you get a 30% debuff to the enemy's attack so we're just kind of kicking it back here waiting for our stacks to build up because you know we want to get all beefy uh, especially when we go down there and deal with people like Kid, Fujitora, Oni Luffy etc so uh, we got our boy Mihawk up here just running for his life like a baby back bitch. Uh, we waited for that kid to use his little dodge right there. Um, and also, we're trying to bait these two fools. Uh, somehow, uh, I ended up um, fucking that up and getting hit. But uh, regardless, we got a little team boost, so I think we healed a little bit. We're going to go over here and shove our um, pull up Luffy's asshole, like, completely. Like, completely up his asshole. We just basically spread his cheeks apart like a grilled cheese sandwich. This Kaido's gonna catch it, too. Kid's fucking stunned. He just doesn't know what the fuck just happened. Him and his boy, uh, Kaido and Luffy, are both... We're just fucking them up, by the way. Like, this is not even funny. Um, Kaido is clearly the inferior Yonko. Just because he's got that drip doesn't mean shit. Also, this fucking poor Aokiji. My god. Uh, we basically just wiped out the whole team one by one. That was kind of fucked up, so... Uh, good job guys. I mean you guys tried your best. I uh, tried to hit Luffy, but unfortunately my auto aim was a little bit off for some reason. We ended up just, Jesus Christ, that was like a 12k normal attack. Uh, we're just fucking everybody up up here. We're just letting them come up one after the other. Line up pussies, you're all getting fucked by White Daddy today. And uh, we did end up stunning that Fuji. Unfortunately we got hit by this attack. This attack can literally just want kill anybody. That's how shit and fucking mi mindless that character is. Usapun! Whatever your fucking name is, Usapun! <laughs> We're gonna fucking switch to uh... <laughs> We're gonna switch to Marco. I apologize for that sound effect. Uh, switch to Marco here and try to take out this kid. Peck his eyes out, because he does have a bird's nest for a hat. A head, or hair rather. Uh, and this Luffy's gonna end up punching us near half to death. Uh, luckily, Marco's got that second life now, and he heals like a madman. He is such a fucking good unit. I actually am gonna boost to him next. Um, super good. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have Oni Law at level 80 now as well. Um, Jinbei at boost 2, level 100. Uh, I got a whole bunch of shit going on, so let me know who you wanna see. Uh, once again so anyways um we're gonna be starting off with whitebeard again but i believe in this match we get we tried a, a different metal set it didn't really work out too well um so we ended up having to uh, pull weight with marco and he does that really well Marco's great for carrying sometimes um especially if you got units that are like super annoying like that oni luffy you just want to hang out by him and heal him you do that the whole game you know fuck everybody up it's the best with roger too because you know roger's just a prick and uh, nobody likes the dude. Um, so if you want to hang out by him with Marco, by all means. It's a really good strategy. So we're, we're going to wait for somebody to drop down. At least we were. We thought we were going to. But uh, I'm not sure what's happening up there. Looks like they're having a little uh, tap dancing party. Uh, I ended up, I believe, activating the Shanks as a counter or something. And he ends up killing me. This Kinemon came and cock blocked me instead of blocking the uh, this Luchi back here. So that was kind of annoying. But... You know, we're going to do our, our, our damage right here and pretty much take him out. He's going to get that dodge. Unfortunate timing. That's what I like about this 
charge abilities in this game because you can just completely throw off your enemy's timing. And of course we hit him with that 50% uh, chance to stun. I forgot to mention, or 50% chance to tremor on his third hit. Really, really cool. Uh, and if, <coughs> if you're like, just keep, you know, keep them in that combo, you could just, you could pretty much kill them very, very fast. So um, we are going to wait up here for one of these butt munches to come up here and uh, so we could take, take him down. I figured I was going to debuff Roger. Uh, look at our fucking defense. It's huge right now. Our defense and our attack power. We've been stacking like a madman. Um, gonna slide up into this uh, Luffy's attack right here. Try to take him out. He ends up hitting me. Oh, if you go back and freeze frame that, it looked like his, his hand was my wiener. It went right through uh, Whitebeard's crotch. That was kind of funny. Um, but we are going to end up getting taken out by uh, this fucking sewer rat, I believe. This New York sewer rat. Um, yeah, that does happen. So we'll be switching into Marco here. Marco, I don't know why he's got that weird speech pattern. What <laughs> I love about One Piece, everybody's so fucked up. Like, they're all on drugs. So uh, we're going to be coming up to the middle here and trying to take down these goofballs and heal our boy. Oh, a little bit late to heal him, but... Um, we do end up uh, pecking this Oden in his eyeballs. Uh, this Garp over here is trying to cause some problems too. I mean, he's not super tanky, surprisingly, but, you know, um, he ended up hitting us and debuffing our healing skills, so that's kind of an annoying. But we're going to be just a fucking a freak of nature here for a minute and just never die, because uh, we can just constantly heal. Marco's sick, because every time one of your uh, teammates die, your skill one cools down, and if you stack that with, like, the Marco medal, Basically what I run on him is uh, Aokiji, or sorry, uh, Kizaru, um, Akainu, and Marco, and they all share like the Paramount War tags and stuff, uh, making the uh, stack much higher when your uh, enemies, or when your teammates stack for that skill one, but also reduces the cooldown of certain status effects, which is really nice on Marco, because you can just, you know, play maximum support without uh, any hindrance. We're going to get that last flag right there. And uh, our score is looking pretty damn hot. 7.4k, so pretty nice. We were fucking shit up uh, in both matches, so. Whitebeard takes some skill. That's what I, I must admit. He does take some skill to use, so it's a little bit unfortunate that people don't like to use characters like that. We just got Grand Lines and Attackers. Uh, pretty cool metal set I have right here. A little interesting. Uh, gives you some defense and, you know, critical hit and whatnot. But anyways... That's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to leave all this stuff here as usual. Hope you guys like it. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next One Piece Bounty Rush video. We'll see you then. Peace out.